We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we'd each find out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's no, we broke up a long time ago. <laughs> Sorry, Makoto. That's what you get for being normal. Hello everyone, Coco and Konetsu here playing Ropa. Thank you guys for joining us once again. I'm gonna kick your ass! What a way to start. <laughs> Stop it, we shouldn't fight! Uh? The fuck you just say? You some kind of goody goody little bitch. Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my fucking dad or something? No, no I wasn't. Fuck you! Wham! Wham, 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 wham. Wham, pow! <laughs> he punched me. <laughs> Aww, Nike. He and I, <laughs> I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten the kind of people I'd been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade before it finally cut out completely. And that's game over. Oh well. It was a good game. Yeah. Interesting premise. We'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> and when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... What did you see? What did you see? Mm -hmm. Ugh. Huh. Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? Yada da 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Yay! So yep, here's our... Here's our stuff and... Presents, report card, regulations. So let's take a look around. This is our boring room. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. It looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. It must be brand new, it's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. A surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. You know, he said that you can't damage them, but can't you like tape paper over them? That's what I was just about to say! <laughs> just put paper over paper. <laughs> Just put paper over the camera and there you go. Just go all around the school. <laughs> Just no, put uh, papers with pictures of everyone flipping him off. <laughs> yeah, but you know, we're not smart enough to do that. <laughs> we're not allowed to mess with the cameras. He just said damage them, so I'd better make sure I don't touch it. He Wait, he, he did it. say damage, right? Let me, let me double yeah. check. I think it's number five? Yeah, it just says as is destruction. <laughs> God, Nike. I mean, I guess he would just make a new rule to not do that, but yeah, might probably. as well try. It's some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? No. No, what a horrible punishment. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. 
Yeah, it's too square. <laughs> this must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain. Which means it must be mine, right? I'd better hang on to it for now. Check the bathroom first. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. Wait, what? Some of the rooms have locks, huh? This would appear to be the bathroom. Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. Just an everyday trash can like me. I don't see any kind of trapdoor <laughs> or hidden compartments or anything. <laughs> Just normal trash. Yay, coin. I think you can press B to leave after this. There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says, Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night time. Also, the bathroom in the girls' room includes a lock of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. Weave? Who's we? Weave. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a tool kit. Texas. <laughs> the sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. What? For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. <laughs> Aww. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... My room. <laughs> this is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. Probably Sakura. <laughs> So that answers that question. The next question is... What's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out. And that's to get out of here. Gotta go outside, man. Yeah! I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others. But there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham! Ah! I'm unconscious again. <laughs> oh, oh, Sayaka? Sorry, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Didn't help her up. <laughs> Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built up some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on that stage. God, you would have to be. The life of an idol is absolute shit. Oh yeah. That's good then. But are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you. That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. Ah, you weenie. <laughs> I guess I revealed my lack of pool right from the beginning. Makoto? Oh, uh, I I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we'd each find out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? 
If that's no, what's we broke up a long time ago. <laughs> Sorry, Makoto. That's what you get for being normal. If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. You could. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. I love the little name plates that they have. I know, it's so cute. <laughs> Looks like there's some kind of nameplate. The doors themselves all look pretty much the same. Let's see... Ah, Sayaka's right next to us. There's the yep. jerk ass. <laughs> there's Junko, cutie pie. There's a person who scares me. <laughs> Chihiro, the Moe Blob, Celeste, Chunibyo, Aoi, my love, Sakura, my other love, Leon, he's Meh. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yasuhiro. Hero. Meh. Yasuhiro's like, every time I hear people talk about him, they either love him or they hate him. I liked him, and then he was just- he just got on my nerves. Yeah, like, his- he kinda got- his gimmick kinda got old quick. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. <laughs> he totally deserves that nameplate. <laughs> Alright, so what do we got There's here? There's Makoto's room. <laughs> Everyone's meeting up with the dining hall. I should hear it there myself. After we- Bathrooms, the enchanted land. With the couch and the maid and. And the hors d'oeuvres. Yes. <laughs> All the hors d'oeuvres. Okay, okay. I love the setups. Mm -hmm. So cool. This must be the dormitory dining hall. It looks pretty clean, so that's good. Er, uh, I guess that's not really important right now, with us being prisoners here and all. Well, better to be a prisoner in a nice place than in a dump. Yeah, than an actual prison. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's just wait here. Uh-huh, you heard that. Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? Never judge a girl's intuition. <laughs> oh, yeah, tutorial, tutorial. Yep, yep, yep. Well, we'll explain this all. Basically, it just branches off into a, a conversation into a different direction, based on what you choose. Yeah. By the way, Makoto. Huh? What is it? Oh, well, it's, it's just... I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. Uh, ask, ask me something. So then we can choose here. What did you want to ask me? Hmm. Makoto, did you happen to go to Black Root Junior High? Were you maybe in class two? Y yeah, actually I was. Ah. I knew it! I went there too. I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was. That she remembered me. That was an awkward sentence. <laughs> We'd never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just surprised is all. 
I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years, of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything. Did I mention that yet? Average McAverage Joe. And all my hobbies are so totally normal. normal. Even normal would call me boring. Even boring would call me normal. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You're so strange. I mean, who calls themselves so normal. normal that often? That's weird. It's strange that... That's normal. <laughs> She started giggling even louder. Oh, there you go. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. Anyway, I'm really glad that someone I know is here. Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. Mm, no, I'm, I'm really not. Amazing I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank, thank you for saying that. Yes. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Huh? My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it... It just gets me pumped up! Which is nice, but still... Everyone else is still late. Besides that... Early? Yeah, or are we early? She didn't mention anything about a specific time. I don't even know what time it is right now. There must be a clock around here somewhere, like right behind Sayaka. Yeah, the cheap looking <laughs> one. I'm not going to go wandering around. I'm just going to wait here patiently. Okay. Um, so... What time is it right now? That clock doesn't have any hands. <laughs> what? 7 o'clock? At night? Uh, I love how it changes colors. <laughs> you were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. Ugh, I'd be the worst. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Your sleep schedule would get so messed up. Mm-hmm. I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. That said, I have a crazy internal body clock. Oh my god, me too. No matter what time I have to wake up, and no matter what time I set my my alarm, I always wake up before, like, 30 minutes before I t intend to work up. <laughs> no matter what. I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure that they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he'd timed it, Taka threw open the dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. <laughs> yeah. Ah, Makoto, Sayaka, so you two got here first, huh? No, Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Well, I won't give up. Next time I swear I'll win, no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in, one after another. After a few minutes, Everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we can get out of here. Celeste's hair looks like it's just the hair sitting on the chair. <laughs> I didn't notice. Wait, hold on a sec. What's wrong? What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver haired girl. Huh? Uh, oh yeah, Kyoko. Mm. 
What about her? <sighs> She's not here. What? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Uh, wait, so, so nobody seen her? She did. She did. Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... And we will leave you on that cliffhanger as to what happened to Kyoko. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.